Today we're going to continue to talk about difference quotients, uh, but this time we're going to do a little thing uh, uh, differently. So let's go back to our regular example with a point uh, x comma f of x and another point on the graph of f of x being x plus h comma f of x plus h. And remember we calculated the uh, slope of the secant line for those of you who did not watch the other video or are not in the course, which welcome to uh, the course. Um, we're going to write it out. Well, it's going to be the rise right of the function, which is going to be given by this term right here, divided by the run. Well, the run would be x plus h minus x, which is just h. So the slope, you know, is rise right divided by run. So it's going to be f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so that was our difference quotient. So what we're going to do now, since this is giving us an average rate of change, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to let h become smaller and smaller and smaller. And what that will do is going to move this point right here closer and closer and closer to the point x comma f of x as we let h get closer and closer to zero, we're going to get to the not average rate of change, but the instantaneous rate of change. So what would happen to the rate of change then will be the following. Let's take a look at it pictorially. So we had our point um, x comma f of x, and then we had x plus h comma f of x plus h. Here h is pretty big and then we let h be a little smaller, you see how our average rate of change between these two points, which would be the slope of this line, is going to be positive. This almost looks like a smiley face if you see. Anyways, uh, this would be a positive uh, average rate of change here. Now, as you move h I'm letting this fix, this point be fixed and I'm making h smaller. Now it suddenly became negative. If you see, what is this telling me? Well, is that between this time and this time, the function actually increased, but as I get closer and closer, the function is decreasing. If you would, if you were to tell me, if you wanted the instantaneous average rate of change when you're going to make this h smaller, you expect that to be negative because what is going to happen, or if we keep looking down, as we get closer and closer and closer, you see h here is smaller, h is just this distance now, and you see your, fun your secant line is getting very very close to the graph, and as h becomes even smaller, somewhere like here, It, be, it becomes almost the same as the graph and eventually it becomes what is called as h goes to zero. It becomes the tangent line. So that is just the line that touches the graph of f of x just at one point and um, oh, locally. And, and that then goes from being the slope of the secant line to being the slope of the tangent line. And this slope of the tangent line, tangent line, will become what is called the derivative of f at the point, in this case would be x. So it's going to be called, we're going to call it f prime of x, and this is just called the derivative. So the derivative is basically going to tell us the instantaneous rate of change of the function f at the point x. So let's write down the definition then, is the following. The derivative of f at the point x, my line is y equals f of x, so the derivative of this function, in this case a parabola, at the point x is going to be given by, well firstly denoted by, f prime at x, and is given as the limit as h goes to zero. That was the process I did. I let h get closer and closer to zero. 
of the difference quotient. So basically I'm grabbing the slope of the secant line and I'm letting h go to zero and what I'm obtaining then is the slope of the tangent line and that is what I called the derivative. And remember whenever we're taking limits there was the possibility that the limit limit didn't exist. Remember that could happen. If this limit does exist then this function is said to be differentiable at this point x. So differentiability just like continuity depends on what point you're talking about. So f is said to be differentiable at x and the derivative is a function whose domain is the set of values where x is differentiable. And what it's going to tell us, f prime, is going to be the slope of the tangent line. at x. Or, which would be the same thing, the instantaneous rate of change. Of f at x. Alright, so that's kind of the idea of what we're going to be doing. So in the next video I will calculate a few derivatives using the limit definition so we can see how we do that. Um, Alright, so that's that for this video and I hope you enjoyed it and that you understand the concept. Um, if not, make sure to leave your questions in the comments, I'll make sure to answer. Alright, until next time.